if you can go straight straight down into the cells you see white uh, shiny fuzzy things at the bottom of the cells those are very young larvae I don't know whether that uh, it's hard to see, yeah. shows up uh, but here, here are some larvae we'll find some older larvae Yeah, here they are mainly quite young. Something you can show uh, on a frame like this, you know, with that many bees in the hive, they are accustomed to uh, being nudged from the side. Mm. So if I go put my finger, if I want to clear this uh, area, I can nudge them aside. <laughs> See, they don't sting; they just move away because that's normal for them mm. to be nudged as soon as I would squeeze them then they sting because that's the only uh, defense they have but if you nudge them from the side they will not sting now I see a few that are very like it's almost like they might be doing a waggle dance do you think it's possible that, that it's some possible, are doing a waggle yeah. dance? that's uh, how they communicate to each other where there's uh, there's flowers and a source of nectar, and so they, depending on right. the angle of the waggle, right. they tell the, each the other where to go. And the shows the distance, so they they communicate the, the the direction and the distance. So go 200 yards in this direction, you will find something. Yeah, let's see if any. See this one here, she was waggling a little. And then, and then they have, by the way, there is a new book out, uh, not even a year now, uh, I can't tell you the authors now, it's called The uh, Superorganism. Oh yeah, uh -huh. It was described in the New York Times uh, book review, and uh, that shows uh, new research on uh, bees, uh, ants and termites a fascinating book very difficult to read but uh, uh, that has a lot of information yeah he, he so he almost says that this whole uh, colony is one organism right with the queen right. oh sort of here the, you can the, see the, look here the oh. brain. here there there are some drones emerging oh, you hear yeah. Oh my gosh! We can help them a little bit. Uh, I love it. <sighs> Watch him come out now. Now, George, the one that looks like a peanut down there, that's not, is that the queen? These are, these are drone cells. Oh, even uh, this here is a uh, queen cell, yeah. Oh, that is the queen cell. There is that. See, now okay. you saw a uh, drone emerging. By the way, we distinguish, you know, uh, an egg hatches, or a uh, larvae hatches from an egg, and a, uh, uh, an adult be your drone emerges from a pupa. So this here is a uh, queen cell. It shouldn't be here right now, but it's good. So is that a sign they're not thrilled with this queen? No, 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 no. Uh, right. Yes. Stop okay. feeding and starting to give them more room. Mm -hmm. See, I can move yeah, them away. Yeah, I think they're running mm. out of room. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, here is the queen. Queen. Here is the queen. How lucky can we get that we found the queen? She doesn't like the, the sun. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, she's really long. Sweetheart. Yeah, you see, 
She looks more slender than the bees, even though she's wider. Can you point her out again, just with the edge? Yeah, just here. Yeah. Even though, uh, because yeah. see, the uh, abdomen goes way beyond the wings, whereas uh, at a yeah. normal bee, the abdomen ends pretty much at the end of the wings. But she can fly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So go out for a little mating. Uh, so now we saw pretty much life. everything we can see in a hive. We saw the queen, oh, queen cell. So we great. saw drones. We saw. Oh. Uh, so the thing is now we have to be careful when, when I put things because the the one thing we want to avoid is that we damage the queen. Yeah. Yeah. Any way I can help you? Or? No, no. We just have to glue it carefully and put it together slowly, so she is. We know she is safely in there. And she was perfectly in the center of things. She was in the fifth yeah. uh, frame.